Now, if we look specifically for motor pathology, injuries, lacerations, cuts, lack of, we can divide up and we can palpate the muscles on the dorsum of the hand. On the dorsum of the hand, I'm going to turn your hand over this way. On the dorsum of the hand, there are six compartments. In an otherwise normal hand, the easiest way to do that is go, put your fingers up straight, make a fist. When we're looking for specific pathology, we can divide the compartments into six compartments on the dorsum of the hand, from here to here. The first compartment is easiest to see from this side or this view, and it's the first two tendons are in the first compartment, and those tendons go to the thumb, the first ray. So they are the extensor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis longus. And if I want you to push against my hand, and that will bring these out, and you can palpate them right there. Okay? We do a stress test for those by just bringing the hand from radial to ulnar deviation, and that, when that is involved with pathology, that's called a Finkelstein's test, and is often seen in de Quervain's tenus synovitis. Not often in kids. The second compartment comes across, and you can palpate it by having the patient extend the wrist and hold it there. And there's two tendons that insert right at the base of the metacarpals, and then the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis, second compartment. The third compartment is the third tendon to the thumb. So Levi, stick your thumb out just like that and hold it there. Don't let me move it. You can see a great anatomy right here. You can see the tendon coming across the third compartment. The fourth compartment goes to these four fingers. Stick your fingers out. And there's four tendons in there that are common, the extensor digitorum communis. And there's an extra one, the extensor indicis proprius, that does that and is responsible for independent extension of the index finger. The fifth compartment goes to the fifth finger. And that has the extensor digiti quinti. And that tendon does this. Boom. So it allows us to stick our pinky up there when we're drinking tea. And it's an extra tendon because there's a fourth tendon from here that actually goes over there too. So you don't necessarily need to have that. The sixth compartment is the extensor carpi radialis tendon. And I have no reason. You just have to know that the sixth compartment is the extensor carpi ulnaris. It's a unique tendon in that it has two different functions. With the forearm in pronation, it is a marked ulnar deviator. With the forearm in supination, it is a wrist extensor.